Okie doke, so this is video number two in the uh, Kajosal hydrophones and uh, contact microphones. Uh, this is not a paid uh, promotion, like I paid for these myself, this is, haven't, these haven't been sent to me. Um, and this is not an unboxing video. I think if you're buying a product, it's interesting to research it and I think it's uh, valuable to get honest uh, opinions from other people that are using them. The first thing I'm going to do is continue moaning about the packaging <laughs> because uh, I, in the previous video I was saying about the, all, the, all this finely milled straw and dust going into the impedance adapters. Um, so I looked closely in there and at the bottom of the three pins where the black uh, disc um, uh, sits, it's, I mean, it's not completely flush with the metal casing on the impedance adapter. So there's, there was actually bits of straw jammed in there and I guess there's dust gone in there. Maybe I'm overreacting. Um, I'm just pointing it out. Okay, so um, I took the uh, contact mic out of the packaging so I'd stop moaning about it. Um, so this is, this is a bit of a longer video. So if you suffer from TTAS, which is TikTok attention span, then you might not be able to sit all the way through this. Um, that's, I actually said that the other day in a video that I was making and um, yeah, I've coined it now. I don't know if it's an actual thing or not, but TTAS. Anyway, since I bought uh, a pair of Steel and Clang contact mics, I've been a bit obsessed with contact microphones. So I was looking at Schertler and Marshmallow and these uh, Kajorsal uh, contact mics. And I went for these first, I heard some recordings, really liked them. Um, also, this is uh, it's magnetic and also it's a hydrophone. So I thought, why not? I'll go for this. Um, it's really interested me that these is like a three in one thing. Three in one? Or is that two? There you go, TTAS. So I'm not going to go through a bunch of specs. There is a, a page on the Organic Audio website with a load of specs. So I'll, I'll put a link in about that but I'm just going to go over the product like I said if you're buying something it's good to be able to you know um, research it a bit so these are actually a lot bigger than I expected they're pretty big especially because the, the steel and clang mics that I've got are, are really small compared to this and uh, the cable is like a three meter copper shielded um, cable so three for me three meters is as short as I'd want a cable on a um, on a contact mic, but they're actually, it's a lot lighter than it looks. It looks, you know, it looks pretty weighty, but it is pretty light. So, so I had a good look at all the uh, connections or all the work around the cable, which uh, joins onto the contact mic itself. So I guess this, this is the organic silicon. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's well done. It looks like, it feels and looks like a sturdy kind of uh, product and the case is a Bio plastic and aluminium. So and yeah, the jack looks good. You know everything that connects it all looks like uh, pretty good. Uh, one of the specs which uh, interested me was operating temperature minus twenty to minus fifty. So being in Iceland, or you know anyone who's living somewhere cold or hot, you know fifty degrees. Um, so it has a good range temperature range. And uh, I have to drop this in. I was I'm really happy because today I kind of reached a verbal agreement with a small film team that's going to Greenland next year so I'm going to be recording for them and doing some field recording on the side so maybe I'll be taking these little babies who knows so these are passive mics so no phantom power needed uh, I'm using a sound devices mix pre uh, 10 and a mix pre 6 I think I've got <laughs> TTAS <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so the preamps on that should should be good enough. Um, and impedance adapters, which you can buy on the Organic Audio website. So you'll need a pair of these if you don't want your recording sounding completely tinny. And uh, that, that's, that's pretty much it. I think just to try and keep it as short as possible, just to uh, repeat myself, I bought these myself. These haven't been sent to me. Um, yeah, just as a closing comment about the packaging, I know I was having a bit of a moan there, but it does this does have a nice personal touch to it, the the, the product itself and the, the info in the box says, you know, this is a group of friends making these together. 
like handmade packaging, recycled materials, um, organic silicon. Uh, there are a bunch of people apparently who, you know, care about, you know, nature and uh, doing something to try and to contribute to some good towards the planet, etc. Um, so it is nice to buy something from like a group of people like this. Uh, so yeah, there it is. The next recordings will be, of course, the important ones, which is like testing them out in the field.